What's up everybody, my name is Alex Yu and you're watching another episode of You Can Eat. And you know what, I want to change the title of my webisode to be called All You Can Eat because I just think it sounds better. So now we're going to be calling it All You Can Eat with Alex Yu. And this is a little bit of a spin-off episode and we're calling this You Can Cook because this is going to be a cooking episode. I'm going to show you a little bit of like home cooking but we're doing a little something different and that is Hot Pot. Chinese style hot pot. Chinese style hot pot is something that Chinese people do. <laughs> Actually a lot of Asian people do this and we usually do this around the winter time because we just cook our own food on the table and we just eat it as we go along. And a lot of uh, Westerners are probably thinking, why would you want to like cook your own food? Well, it's actually like an interactive activity amongst the people around the table. So it's kind of fun at the same time. You know, have you ever been to Korean barbecue? You get the raw food and then you just cook it at your table. It's kind of fun. Japanese people do it, Taiwanese people, Chinese people, Korean people. I've seen it all done in those various uh, countries. This is just a regular thing. So we've already eaten it and I'm just gonna do a commentary for you guys, all right? So here we have the hot pot. As you can see, the pot is divided in two sides, but we only have one type of soup, all right? Normally you'd have a spicy side and then your regular side, which isn't spicy. As you can see, it already has a lot of parsley and we just put some century egg in there. That's preserved duck egg. And what I'm pointing at right now is um, these type of um, tofu fish cakes. That's pork liver and um, yes, pork liver. And those are dumplings. And we just put those in. That right over there is lamb, that's pork. And we got fish balls over there. And then we also have some uh, tofu and shrimp. The fun in this is that everybody's bowl has a different type of sauce in it. And you customize your own sauce your own way. I got uh, soy sauce in there. I got some Chinese chili paste. And then I put sesame paste. Now I'm putting a little bit of sesame oil. You only want to put a little bit just because it's very, very uh, like um, flavorful, very strong. That's prickly ash oil that you're seeing right now. And once again, you only want to put like a few drops. Uh, that's Japanese soy sauce. It tastes a little different than, um, than Chinese soy sauce. And like I said, everybody's sauce is different. Um, this one over here you see is a little bit pasty. He's putting a, a sesame oil in, in it. And my dad's is just nothing but soy sauce. So mine's different. After that, you just mix it all together. Use your chopsticks right here, mix it all together. As you can see, I'm using wooden chopsticks because wooden chopsticks are, are good for putting in uh, hot boiling water. You don't want to use plastic chopsticks. Now we're just waiting for the water to boil. It's going to take a little bit of time because the pot is kind of big and we're using a kind of a portable uh, burner. I'm putting a little bit of Frank's Red Hot Sauce because Frank's Red Hot Sauce makes everything taste better. And uh, right now I'm, I'm showing you guys that I'm using uh, wooden chopsticks. While we're waiting for the water to boil, uh, as you can see, we have uh, leftovers of uh, beef tripe, beef stomach. <laughs> Everybody loves it, as you can see all the chopsticks. And one of the things that you have to remember is that if you're gonna use chopsticks or forks to put your raw food, make sure you know if you used it for raw food or cooked food. So we have a system and that is we use forks for putting in raw food and we use chopsticks for the cooked food. Over here, uh, I'm gonna eat some, some of the pork. You'll notice that in my bowl, the um, the, the, the sauce is very runny. That's because I put a little bit of the soup from the pot into the bowl to make it a, to thin it out a bit because it was getting a little bit spicy. I'm eating it right now and I'm having a little bit of a food gasm. Whenever I close my eyes, that means I'm having a food gasm. And as you can see, we switched pots. This is a smaller pot because it boils better, it boils faster. That pot was way too big, so we put it back on the regular stove and we put a smaller pot on the smaller burner. Here we have liver, dumplings, and that is fish sumai. That's something that would be served at a dim sum restaurant. It's really good. <laughs> and the liver, a lot of people might not be into liver, but it is also good. Right there, I'm putting in some beef. And what's really important is that you claim your food. You gotta claim your food because it's almost like fair game. You put your food in and it might disappear and you're gonna be ending up fishing around because right now I'm gonna pick up my beef but I put more beef in it and right now I'm fishing around can't find it because somebody already picked it up. So claim your food because food can disappear just like that or keep an eye on it. And as you can see we have pork, beef, and over there that's lamb. And you can't really tell them apart just because well, they're all red and once they're all cooked they look like that. So, I know the beef is a little bit darker, it's a little bit more brown, 
Here we have some raw shrimp. And once the raw shrimp is cooked, it looks like that. It's very small, it turns white and orange, of course. Make sure everything is cooked, especially the pork. Uh, you don't want to get sick over that, so uh, it's important that you get everything cooked in the hot water. Now this is um, tofu fish cake. Um, it just looks like tofu, but once I take a bite out of it, it's still really solid because the meat, it, the, the tofu meat is actually held together with the fish meat as well. So it, it's pretty good. It's a little bit sweet. Over here we have our regular stove and we have clay pot rice with Chinese preserved sausages. The way that clay pot uh, rice bowls are cooked is that you put them over high heat with the rice and the meat and then you, you after it goes to high heat for a bit then you turn it down and just let it cook under the medium to low heat and it is so good because the, the juices from the whatever meat you put in whether it's chicken or Chinese preserved sausages it all soaks into the, to the rice and it just makes the rice so flavorful and it's really really good uh, here's the beef that I'm eating as you can see it's very thin you can go to a Chinese supermarket and you can buy the meat specifically for hot pot here is the the the, um, the dumplings that I put in the other pot that is boiling on my stove and all you gotta do is wait for it to float as long as it floats it's cooked and once again we have two sides for it but we have the same soup so we're not really utilizing it to its full potential but normally you would put a, a spicier soup on one side and finally here is all the meat mixed together pork, lamb, beef all together and that is the last serving of my hot pot meal really full from all that and there you have it so this is a little bit of a spin-off episode from the all you can eat web series I just like to show people some of my cooking and I'm gonna continue to make more cooking videos because I did study a little bit of culinary and I like to experiment with my own recipes and I'd like to show you guys sometimes anyways if you enjoyed this episode subscribe to me on YouTube like me on Facebook Rage and Roner Productions and follow me on Twitter Rage and Roner Pro and I will see you next time my next episode is that I'm gonna show you how to make eggs more exciting so stay tuned for that this is Alex Yu and thanks for watching another episode of all you can eat with Alex Yu peace